Hello everyone, this is Danielle Dunlop and today I'll be showing you two cards from start to finish and I'm using the products from Creative Craft Lab they're part of the Studio Light brand and I'll be working with the Friends collection which has the super cute Buddy the Bulldog die set you can build your own doggies in different styles and there's a matching accessory set so you can decorate Buddy Another part of this collection is the dog-themed sentiment stamp set. There's also a paper collection. It's called What the Woof. It has 12 double-sided papers, and there's three of each paper in this collection. So we have colored stripes with the doggies peeking out, a grid notebook pattern, some colored dog print, paw prints, um, this argyle pattern, a red bright one with white stars. Uh, this one has some labels. You can also cut apart if you would like that. Uh, we have the bones and probably my favorite, the teal one. The next item from Studio Light I want to show you are the faux leather sheets. They come in a set of three different colors. Here I have the white, silver and gold one, but they come in other combinations as well. The sheets are very soft and thin. You can die cut from them. Um, so here's the white, the silver, and the gold. I love the leather texture these all have. So it looks really real. I started cutting Buddy out of white cardstock and lay it all out so I get a better idea of how I want the colors to be on the dog. Studio Light has these foam applicators in a dome shape and they are great to color all your little die cut pieces. Now what I like to do is grab the sheet of white cardstock where I cut all the pieces from and I put them back in so you have a better grip on coloring all your little pieces. Now I'm starting here with the two base pieces for his body and for his head and I'm using Distress Oxide Brushed Corduroy. When I'm coloring all the smaller die cut pieces, I like to tape them down with some low tech tape so they stay in place better. All these pieces I just put back in the sheet of cardstock, I'm going to color with Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. The next color I'm using is tea dye, and I'll be using those on his inner ears and on his cheeks. I always like to have some rosy cheeks on my critters. For the snout of the dog, we're using antique linen. It is a slightly lighter color than we used uh, for the body and his face, but it's just going to make it stand out a teeny tiny bit. And the last part I'm going to color are his pupils and I'm just using a black fine liner to color these little pieces in. Now it is time to put the dog together and I'm starting with the spots on his face and both the spots and his face have little cuts in them. Two of them resemble his eyebrows and the other one is a little line over his nose and you can place the cuts in the spots exactly over the cuts in his face so if you line them up perfectly the spots are in the exact right place
Next, we're going to add his rosy cheeks and I want him to go slightly underneath his snout. So I put his snout in place without gluing it down yet. Uh, but just for the placement, I put it there and I can add the cheeks in the right place. Before I'm gluing down the snout, I'm going to put the eyes down and I'm using one winky eye and one regular eye. And then we can glue down the snout on his face. Next is his mouth. And then we're going to put his ears together. So we're just going to put the inner ear on top of the outer ear. And I'm not going to attach the ears to his head yet. First, I want to see how his head is going to look on his body. And once I have that attached, then we're going to attach the ears to his head. One of the die cut pieces is this cute little spot that goes on the chest of Buddy the Bulldog. And once I have that in place, I'm going to attach his head. And once you have the head attached, you can start wiggling around his ears. And you can actually put them in different places. You can have one ear hanging down, or you can have them both go up. Just whatever you like. Now the last parts we need to attach are his two other legs and I made those darker color because they're kind of like in the shadow. Um, they're the ones in the back and I'm using the grid on my glass mat to have the dog straight. So the two legs that are already attached to his body, they're lined up and then the two that we're attaching right now they also have to be lined up with each other. And now we have ourselves a cute little winking buddy, the bulldog. And let's start making a card with him. For this card, I'm starting by creating an ombre background using the Distress Oxide colors Spun Sugar, Catch Flamingo, and Picked Raspberry. I'm starting at the top of the piece by blending in the Spun Sugar, the lightest of the three colors, and then I'm going to work my way down to the darkest color, Picked Raspberry. Now remind yourself to go back in and switch between the colors to get a perfect blend. And now we have a gorgeous pink ombre background. And the next thing I'm going to do is add the sentiment. And I'm using one of the sentiments from the Dogaholic stamp set. Uh, you had me at Woof. I thought that was an adorable one. I'm going to put Buddy in place just to know the placement for my sentiment. And it's going to be at the bottom center of the background piece. 
As always, I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Stamping Ink. It's my favorite, most crisp black ink that I always use for my sentiments. Next, I'm going to finish up the background of my card and I'll be using those individual paw print stamps and I'm going to clear heat emboss them. But first, we're using a power tool and then I'm going to ink the stamps with Versamark embossing ink. I like to keep my embossing powders in these containers so I have a little more room to work with. I just have a plastic spoon in it to easily apply the powder and to also easily put back the leftover powders. Then I like to heat up my gun a little bit before I start heating the embossing powder. And by clear heat embossing on an inked background, you're just gonna have a little darker print of what the background color is. So it's nothing super bright or anything. It's just gonna give a little detail for the background. So I randomly positioned all these paw prints on the background and I just like the little detail it gives you back there. I added some double-sided foam tape on the back of this piece and I'm only taking the backing piece off one of them and it makes it easier for me to position it on a card base. So first I put down the part that is non-sticky yet to put it in place and then I stick down the part where I peeled the backing off already. And now all I need to do is take the other backing off and I have my background perfectly placed centered on my card base. Now it is time to put Buddy on the card. But first, I like to put a little bandana on him that I die cut from the accessories die set. And I use one of the What the Wolf papers, the teal one. And you can just easily glue it uh, on his body and his hat was not entirely covered in glue, so I will be able to easily slide it under his chin and get it in place. Because of the bandana, the little spot on his chest will not be visible anymore. It's not a problem, but in this video, I wanted to show you how that little spot works anyway. So now, but he has a little more color on him. I think it's so cute, this teal bandana. And I want a little dimension for Buddy, so I'm going to put foam squares on him. And that way he's gonna pop a little off the card. I'm using a T-square ruler to make sure Buddy gets straight on the card. And with the ruler, I can line up his paws and make sure he's on there straight. Look how cute he is with his teal bandana. For a second card, I'm using a different version of Buddy. It's actually going to be a girl, so we need to come up with a different name. Um, so I used the hat and just the front paws, which is a different die piece from the die set. You can see it here. And this way you can just have the hat with the front paws and have the dog hanging over some object. In this case, I'm using the purse from the accessory set and I cut it from one of the faux leather sheets, the gold one. And there's a little imprint on it uh, for a little pocket. And then there's this little piece, which is the flap of the pocket. And I cut that out of the white faux leather and it has a little doggy imprint. It's so cute. 
And then also out of the white uh, leather, I cut the handle of the purse. And I used the bow from the accessory set and I cut that out of the teal pattern paper. I also cut out of the same paper those uh, bigger and smaller bone and I'm going to use that for the background. But first I'm going to add my sentiment and I chose the Let's Party It's Your Birthday from the Dogaholic stamp set. I'm going to place it in the top center of my card. The background of the card is the grid notebook paper from uh, What the Wolf collection that I showed you earlier. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with Versafine Black Onyx ink or Onyx Black ink, however you want to say it. And the dog and the purse are not glued down yet. I only use them to position everything. Now, initially, I wanted to cover the entire background with all these die cut bones. So I started to glue some down, tucked under the purse. And at some point I realized that it was going to be too much. And with all the bones in the background, none of the dog or the purse were really going to stand out, especially with the bow on her head in the same pattern. I was just not liking it, so I removed a bunch of them. And I only kept the bones at the bottom of the card. So now I'm going to glue down the bow on her head. And again, nothing else is glued down yet to the card. And because um, I'm going to use some foam squares to make them pop off the card. I always like that extra dimension that foam squares give. And first now I'm going to put this uh, background piece on my card base. And I'm using the same technique. I'm only going to peel off one backing of the foam tape to make it easier to center it to the card base. So the non-sticky part is going down. And once it's in place, I'm going to stick down the other side. And all we need to do is take off the other backing and we have our background perfectly positioned. First, we're going to put the purse together. And initially I started with liquid glue and that was probably going to get a little messy. And then I remembered that Studio Light also has their own glue dots, which probably would work a lot better. They have them in two different sizes, uh, 0.16 inch and the bigger one is 0.31 inch or eight millimeters and four millimeters. And I started to use those to put the purse together. It will get just less messy compared to when you use liquid glue. Now that we've assembled the purse, we're going to add some foam squares. And because the faux leather is a little heavier material than just paper or cardstock, I'm adding a lot of foam squares just to make sure everything stays in place. And I'm first uh, attaching the purse to the card. And then we're going to move on to the doggy hat. 
I'm going to add foam squares to the hat as well. I don't need that many as I need it on the purse, but just a good amount. And at the top of the purse, you can see I have two foam squares sticking out. It's just to make sure the connection between the purse and the hat has enough uh, of a foundation to lay on that every little piece stays popped up from the card. So these are the two cards I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I got to inspire you to work with your creative craft lab and studio light products. Thank you all for watching and I wish you a wonderful day.